Welcome back to Average Guy Tested. I'm Tony, and today we're going to be pitting this classic Gillette Mach 3 Solid True Technology cartridge razor. It cost, oh, about $10 at Walmart or in the link provided below <laughs> against this premium, luxurious, and expensive Blackland safety razor, which probably cost over $200 give or take. We're going to find out what's best for the average guy to tackle this, oh, week and a half worth of growth. Next on Average Guy Tested. Next on Average Guy Tested. Now I'll be putting these razors on an even footing of slick and easy to use Elysian Atlantis Deep Artisan Shaving Soap and Splash. This is my favorite go-to guys. And I'll be using, yes, the Pacific Shaving FM brush. Beautiful synthetic badger, natural cork handle brush. So what am I waiting for? Like my boy Dan Han says, let's get started. I'll jump into the shower. I get a nice steam going. We'll come back and we'll see which razor, which razor is the best. Be right back. All right, so I thought about this in the shower, which is where lots of great ideas are formed, at least for me. And to put these two razors on even footing, I'm gonna change some things up. Now let's take a look at this beautiful Blackland razors. One of the premium manufacturers out there for double edge safety razors. This right here, is just a master, masterwork of craftsmanship. Beautiful, solid brass, and it has a unique coating on this that didn't really go as planned. So they offered this version of their, I forget if this is the Blackbird DE razor, but they offered this at a severe discount. I think I got this for about 180 bucks. Regular retail was closer to 300. It's beautiful, heavy weight, nice grooves in the handle. So it's not slippy, has lots of heft, open comb design. In fact, this was my first open comb safety razor. All right, so the typical double edge razor experience will be happening on this side of my face and the tried and true Gillette Mach 3 cart experience will be happening on this side of the face. All right, now we'll go through what a typical DE shave is with the lather, the brush, the blade. And on this side, I'm gonna go with the typical foaming experience, a gel or a foam. Right? I mean, that's what typically people would use. I'm not trying to generalize. You can use premium luxury shaving soaps and such with your Gillette product, your cart product. But let's be real. Without further ado, let's get cracking. For those of you who don't already know, this is a double edge blade. They come in all different varieties. And what's nice about this is They're very different shaving experiences based on the blade set that you choose. And you can buy these blades in bulk. So where this may cost a lot up front, the replacements can be really, really economically just a great deal. So a hundred blades of your type may cost you less than a new cart for this. And over time, that adds up. So folks that are on the economical front, if you can get past the initial investment in a good double-edged razor, on the back end, it's, play, it's paying sweet dividends with the cost of these, all right? I'll leave links in the description box for a variety sets of razor blades so you can pick the one that feels best for you, but if you're already a DE enthusiast, you probably know this. This is for folks that probably are looking at which way I should go. Let's be real. All right. 
But let's go through this. So you have this blade. I like to... get all the residue off this blade before I put it against my beautiful face. And you have this two piece head, which you have to unscrew. All right. Blade goes onto these little teeth, let's call them. All right. And you screw it back onto the razor base, and there you have it. Just very nice, very solid, very hefty, beautiful. All right, let's get into an artisan shaving soap. Again, this is made by Elysian. This is Atlantis Deep. It's got a wonderful, I would say musky, aquatic vibe going. Oh, just a wonderful smell, guys. And DE shaving is really geared toward the experience of shaving. The economy set aside. Folks using safety razors, wet shaving today, it's really about the experience. And this gives you a wonderful experience. All right. A little warm water on a shaving brush. And we're going to dip into our tin of... Atlantis deep and grab a little bit of cream, a little agitation there. It's a little dry, I'll add a little bit more water and we'll get in there. Okay. All right, so I have a nice sampling of that shaving soap. And I'll come right over here and right to the face. And I'll apply that cream to the face. Agitating the whiskers. Developing a nice layer of shaving cream. Again, I'm only doing half of the face. This way, we're going to do a head-to-head. -head. Now, if you want more cream, you add a little water, you add a little bit more agitation, and you get more foam. All right. That's nice. Still a little dry. A little bit more water. A little bit more agitation. Uh, makes a little bit more foam. Okay, all right. So I have razor blade loaded, lathered up, ready to rock and roll. 30 to 35 degree angle. We're gonna go with the grain of the hair on your face and neck. So we're gonna be shaving down. We'll start there. Very, very nice. Very smooth. And no problem with that week and a half worth of hair. It just comes right off. Turn the blade over because you have a double edged razor. Double edged razor, use them both. All right, look at that. You can see that. Quick, harmless. Once you get the hang of it. Now, if you're new to wet shaving, you're new to the concept of a double edge razor. Yeah, there is a little fear the first time you put that blade up against your neck. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's all in the technique. It's all in the time you allot for the shave. And as you can see, I've come out pretty much unscathed.
Okay, there you go. First pass on this side in the books. What I'll do now is I'll rinse off this side and we'll attack this side with the Mach 3. So I've rinsed off with warm water. As you can see, that DE razor just got rid of that hair quick and easy in one pass. So let's go over to our Mach 3. The hardest part about the cartridge razor game is just getting the razor out of the packaging. This was relatively easy. Let's go over this beautiful tried and true shaving technology that's been around since the, I guess, late 90s. This is the Gillette Mach 3, a nice, simple design. You've got sort of a sweep here and a blade that's very thin. The form factor is very thin. So it gets into the nooks and crannies. You've got three blades of fun, a pivoting head. You've got your microfin technology down here, your rubber guide, and your lubrication strip up top. Really, really nice. This was the standard back in the day, and it's still a very solid razor. Now on this side of the fence, near hot water, and you would pick up your Gillette Foamy, or your Foam Mousse, or your Rapid Foaming Gel, or some other Edge product, and you're going right on your beard. Simple, easy, nice smell to this. Old school, barbershop fresh. Oh, that's very lovely. All right, no real worries about the consistency. This comes out of the can. It's just a great consistency to shave. And within a matter of a minute, I'm ready to go. Very nice. Again, I'm going with the grain of the hair on my face. And this is easy, worry-free, but clogs up right away after a couple of strokes, but it is not clogged. So we'll go back in and we'll attend to the face. Very comfortable shave, guys. Very easy, very comfortable. Very smooth and no fear. No worry. but not the horsepower of an unprotected, sharp DE blade. So on longer beards, we already have a clear winner. Just from a time standpoint, you know? And efficiency, efficiency of the cut. It's taking multiple, multiple swipes to dispatch that hair. But all the while, worry-free, nick-free, tug-free, relatively and a good shave. Okay, so now I will rinse off with near hot water and we'll go for round two. Round two. Comparable shaves, guys. So let's get back into it. Round two, we'll go back over to that original grab of the Elysian soap. A 
Again, if I wanted more foam, I could add more water, add more agitation, but right now I'm good. I'm gonna get right back into the shave. So with wet shaving, it's typical to do a three pass system. You start with the grain, you go cross grain, and then you go with a final finishing against the grain pass. So with our cross grain, nice longer strokes. Again, still attacking the hair or the skin on a 30 to 35 degree angle. And taking your time, letting the device do all the work, the heft of the device, glancing against the skin, not digging. Now with a double edge razor, this is really important. The fundamentals of letting the device do the work, not digging are tremendously important because you can really cut yourself, nick yourself up if you try forcing the action here. But very, very nice. The cross grain pass with a double edge is where you really wanna get at the nooks and crannies. You wanna get under the nose. And you hear that feedback. All right, two passes on this side in the books. Very smooth, very nice, very efficient shave. And we'll go back to the Gillette Foamy. Gillette Foamy. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's got a really nice smell to it. I don't remember Foamy smelling so great. Okay, shave two or pass two with our Mach 3. Uh, for similarity's sake, I will do cross grain. You don't typically do a cross grain, three pass, you know, cross grain with grain against grain, Sh shave with a carp. From my experience, you can. Usually it's one pass. With some cleanup passes. Because you're dealing with multiple blades, right? The form factor of this is so slight. Getting up into the nooks and crannies. It's child's play working on the, the uh, jawline easy. I haven't had a fear. I'm going super fast. I could do, I could be done right now. And I'd have a pretty much baby's bottom glass-like shave, okay? Shave two on this side in the books. Get ready for pass number three. Both sides feel pretty comparable. I feel a little bit more hair on this side, if I'm being honest. So let's do third pass, a little bit more near hot. Go back to that original 10 or that original pull. And we'll agitate a little bit more foam onto the face and neck. And we'll do our final get right pass for the DE. Okay, here we go. Last pass for the three pass system. Now this is just what I do. It's not what you need to do. You know, do what works best for you. We're going to do the final pass, which will be an against grain pass. And for this 
pass, I like to start on the neck. And I'm just shaving up against the grain, taking my time, not trying to do too much here. I'm adding a little bit of water because I'm feeling like it's a little dry. You could add more water and agitate, but this is an easy way out. Who doesn't like the easy way out in life? And with this pass, I'm taking my time, glancing against the skin. Really not trying to do too much. Under the nose. Very sensitive bit. So I took my time there. All right. Shave done on this side. It's a beautiful razor and provided a great, close, smooth shave, guys. That feels wonderful. All right. Near hot. And we'll bring it home on the cart side with a little bit more Gillette Foamy. For efficiency and ease, for efficiency, there's a clear winner here. When you're dealing with long stubble, the Blackland Razor has what it takes to really efficiently Knock off long stubble. It's got the horsepower. From a comfort, <clears throat> ease, no learning curve, confident, fast shave, the Mach 3 takes it in every book. So it really depends on what you're looking for. This is such a nice razor, the Mach 3, guys. It really depends on what you're looking for. Do you want to really get into the shaving experience to save money on the long end, to explore the artisan soaps? All right, take two of the clothes, my camera died. So I had to recharge it. Let's go back to my summary. On the Blackland side, if you're into learning proper technique, if you're into getting immersed in all of the artisan soaps and aftershave splash and the alum blocks and you know all the different techniques, plus the back end economics, of the cheapness of bulk blades, this is really the way you wanna go. But if you're into an everyday, fast, easy shave that's comfortable, that's worry-free, virtually worry-free, no real technique is needed to shave with the Mach 3, this is the way you wanna go. Typically, you're gonna buy this. Now you can explore these wonderful shaving soaps and all the rabbit hole of the accessories around men's grooming, but typically this is a run and gun, Gillette foamy, Gillette foam mousse, maybe a rapid foaming gel, or uh, again, an edge gel. This would be the way to go. So for me, the best of both worlds, because if I have a nice Sunday shave like today, and I have the time to do a proper, long, relaxing shave, I'll go with the benefits of the DE. <clears throat> if I have a long beard and I wanna cut it off quickly and efficiently, I'm on this side. If I'm running and gunning, I'm late, ready to go. If I'm traveling, throw this in your bag and a trial size of foam mousse or foamy and you're good to go. So which one is better for you? 
and that's really up to you. But I've tried to show you a, a nice comparison of both to give you a sense of which one is better. And really, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I know lots of shaving snobs are going to come at me. <sighs> okay. It's up to you guys. So there's another thing that's up to you. You being here. And I want to thank you for being here and watching these videos, leaving your comments. Guys, I'm at 32,000 subscribers. I've been doing this for a long fucking time. <laughs> and I see all these clowns on YouTube with these plaques. Once you hit a hundred thousand subscribers, you get a nice plaque. And at the rate I'm going, the plaque will be sent to my kids. So what I'm asking you to do, because you're here and I'm thanking you for that. Send my videos to your friends. Ask them su to subscribe. Ask them to watch the channel. Not only do I do reviews of men's grooming, I do car reviews, consumer product reviews. I've gotten into athletic footwear reviews and any other assorted silliness that jumps into my head. So my urge to you is let's get this channel from 32,000 subscribers to 100,000. Like soon. Seriously, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please pass it along. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Now, roll the music. <laughs>